Hey, what's up, fellas? Doing some rotary cup atomizer testing today. I need to build a burner for a company that's going to be deployed in Africa. They got to heat up some stone, and this thing may have to run for a day, the burner that I'm building, that is. And this thing has to be basically Africa bush ready. I can't have no 300 PSI oil pumps on this thing that are going to have clogged up nozzles and all this stuff. It has to be, I guess what my friend Bill would say, roughneck proof. It's got to be able to handle clogs. I can't have a bunch of little screens and centered filters and stuff like that. So essentially what this is, is a garden hose spraying into a spinning wire wheel, basically. You could uh, put uh, a different rotary cup on there, but I thought maybe this would give us some features that wouldn't be available otherwise with you know such minimal work here. Now. The burner is going to be running on oil, and this is water, I understand that, but I thought I'd just do a little preliminary test here to see if it would be worth sticking this thing inside of a combustion chamber. As I said, high pressure oil pumps can get a little expensive, and I don't want something like that running the burner when a rotary cup could probably do the job just as well. Maybe not, but I'm going to be testing that. And that's kind of what I'm doing here today. I need to get some profile video of this vapor cloud to kind of see what type of control air I'm going to use to tighten up this cone. And also, how big is the combustion chamber going to be on this burner that I'm building? One of the problems associated with an atomizer nozzle ran by a high pressure oil pump is that they don't like to be turned up or down much. If you turn it down too low to try and throttle down the engine, it no longer atomizes the fuel. So now you've got a problem. If you turn it up too high, they can't really accept too much more fluid, even with a substantial amount more pressure. They can a little bit. Um, they just, typically those arrangements require multiple nozzles on a large burner, which is even more expensive. And it just goes on and on. So I want to try and and get a configuration like this working, just as simple as it can be. And we're gonna do a jet engine type combustion chamber where this is gonna be at the back with a firewall protecting it with a little bit of control air on the back wall there, blowing that fuel stream in the proper direction. And then it's just gonna have a combustion can and a liner covering it up and uh, the reason for this is I need to get this thing as hot as possible. We need like jet engine heats here. They want to get that rock melted as fast as they can. And they're using waste oil to do it. He said it's been taking over a day. So we're going to try and build them something that can reduce that burn time and bring down their oil usage. Okay. Doing a nozzle angle test here. Sometimes symmetrical isn't always the best. That's uh, about a thousand horsepower right there, maybe a little more. All right, guys, so what I learned about rotary cup atomizers is the faster the better. You need the higher RPMs to reduce the radius of that spray. Look how wide this is at low RPM. Now watch what happens when we turn it up. And it totally makes sense because the particle size has decreased, so it can't fly out as far. It, it just doesn't have the size it's it's too small to keep going that fast so you can definitely see here in one of these clips where i turn it up and the size of the cone tightens up drastically as a result we may have already passed that part i'm kind of narrating on the back end here but that's basically the conclusion of this test is you need to be extremely high rpms for this to be effective this right here is kind of too big So here we're going to kind of see how turning up the RPMs definitely tightens up that cone and the particles are so small they don't have that momentum to cut through the air. Kind of like when you try to throw a piece of paper or a paper ball. It just doesn't have the terminal velocity ability. Here I'm just kind of messing around with nozzle position to get a feel for where this thing's going to want to live inside the combustion chamber. And there are definitely some differences. You can see the change in splatter is pretty drastic based on the position. So I'm gonna to wanna to be paying attention to that. I don't like those little particles that we see right there. We need this to be all mist. 
because with very dirty waste oil what will happen is that the ash will build up inside the combustion chamber and could cause problems.